Hello friends, it's me, I'm still alive. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors, my name is Kathy. This is going to be a quick for me video because I'm in my van and it is 410 and the sun is setting. So, sorry, I'm trying to situate you. I'm not at the park, I'm actually in front of my house. But I can't get you to prop up better. Anyway, um, now that the month is half over, let's do a quick planned video. So I have so many videos to film, including my like plans for the year, my 2022 wrap up. I still need to film my December pages. I'm doing 10 books to finish again. So look forward. If you want to look forward to that, it will be coming. It's just, um, I don't know when. Huh. It's cold. It's 26 degrees. We've had wacky weather per the use. If you um, follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you got to see, um, which I'll still, I also need to film that. I did a, like a little vlog of my crafty vacation, but I was uploading snippets um, on those two platforms. I think I uploaded the same on both, so it wasn't a big thing. Sorry. <laughs> Sniffing, it's cold. I'm not sick. I'm just uh, adjusting to the cold. <laughs> so... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so we had like a snowstorm, snowstorm. It didn't turn into a blizzard because we didn't have the wind, but it was a serious snowstorm. They also got a bunch of snow here. You can kind of see. Here, I'll do a quick little turnaround. Hold on. So this is my yard. There's snow. The more you can tell where they have to push the piles straight ahead. Maybe on the neighbors, you can kind of see. Yep, big sniff. So lots or lots of snow. Let's set you back down. Try and get you in a happy spot. Okay, well, now you're a different angle, but it is what it is. Um, and then just over the weekend, so I'm filming this on Tuesday. And so it's not really a minivan Monday. It's kind of a minivan Monday because I'll fill you in on some life stuff. It actually was like raining and sleeting. So now, like the little, the walk in front of, so I have a little piece of concrete in front of my door. So that's fairly okay. But like in front of it is an equal sized <laughs> plot of solid ice right now. So definitely using a bunch of the ice melt. But yeah, now we're supposed to get another dumping of snow this week. Cause that's what it's like. Otherwise, let's just go through this quick. So plans for um, January, like I said, I'll do a 2023 plans video. It might be up in February, but I'm doing, uh, switching things up. If you are a seasoned friend, you know, I used to do like a spinning wheel to like help me with the prompt. I'm not doing that anymore in general, but I am gonna do a Disney hashtag. There are lots of Disney hashtags out there. If those of you that like to color Disney, I hope you participate in as many as you can. Mine is just something that I decided to do. So because I'm a bit of a nerd, I have been um, inventorying my Disney color by number books, the big color by number books, as far as which movies are in each book. Once I have that um, ready, I, I think I'll make it like as a Google Doc if other people want to look at it. I'm not getting super specific, but I will talk about that. Anyway, I've been inventorying it, and I'm like, you know, I really do love coloring in these books. Uh, when you see my goals for the year, I have a specific goal towards them. So my plan is I'm going to enter the Disney movies that are in these books into a random wheel, spinny thing. And I will spin a movie for every month, And because I don't always care what I color um but I know I have like favorites and there's I try and do the other Disney hashtags so I thought well this is just a way for me to make sure I'm coloring pages throughout my books so I'm going to spin for a movie pick the mo the movie's going to pick and then I will all that month um not going to try and color as many as I can but I definitely try and color a few pages of that movie and hopefully also watch it so I do not have the movie spinny thing set up before the month of January I picked the movie Brave now if um, you knew everything going on in my personal life you exactly know why that term I think it might have to be my t word of the year I used to do that to a word of the year it might be brave 
So I actually, there's a lot of people that hate that movie. A lot of people like it. I personally like it. It's one of my favorites because um, some think Merida is this spoiled snot and she like destroyed her mother, turned them into bears. However, I remember being like a teenage Kathy and the hormones and all that. And I was terribly mean to my mom. I hate to admit that. But I'm also honest, and I think a lot of us go through that stage, and part of it is hormones, and it's growing up. And I had made amends and apologized to my mom for it once I realized what a snit I was. So I actually can identify a little bit with Merida. Not that I turned my mom into a bear, but I know I made her cry, which is not something I'm proud of. Um, again, thankfully that was a short-lived period of my time, but it was a, a period of my life. And the majority of my life, my mom and I were besties. So there's that. So I picked Brave. And yes, I'm wiping my nose. Not editing that out either. Um, so if you want to do any Brave pictures from your Disney books, um, post any, and you want to post it on social, I'm doing that. It's hashtag. I'll put it on here too. Spicy Cat Disney. And I'm not putting a year on it because maybe I'll just keep continuing it forever. But Spicy Cat Disney. Spicy with an E. So that is going to be a year-long hashtag for sure. And I will announce a movie every month from The Spinner. But this month it is Brave. Also this month I'm again going to do the group body color. Last month it came to the end before I got mine colored and filmed. But it is what it is. So I try and give you guys a heads up in case you want to participate. So I chose the Alexander Frenzy's Winter Chibi book because I recently purchased this and I have not colored in it. And this is the page I am going to do. Is the New Year's page. Happy little, and it could just be any party page. So I picked it just for the prompt, New Year. So if you don't have this book or if you've already colored that page and want to join in coloring with me in the group buddy color, just use um, New Year as the prompt. It could be any. It could be the Chinese New Year. It's Year of the Rabbit. It could be whatever. It could be a celebrating New Year. It could be something that represents something new. You guys know there's really not any rules. It's just so we can color together. And I will be trying to film a video where I'll color and chat and um, color that page. So those are my personal plans. Uh, goal wise, um, I am doing 10 books to finish again. And I'll talk about that in a different separate video. So I don't really have to tell you guys anything there on the goals. Otherwise, the main goal is to get my poop in a group, my life together, because it is still in shambles. Job front getting closer here's the thing though so like you go through all these steps where you like make it through the first round of you know scaling people out and they tell you that so then you might have to do another task and then you might make it to the interview and you still can like keep moving forward and then at the end not get the job so I have been around the block enough <laughs> to know I used to get really depressed and sad and you know upset if I didn't get jobs and I am now to the point in my life where I'm like oh this wasn't meant to be because I believe in a high, higher power and I'm like there is something at that job that is either worse which is hard to believe than where I'm at or um, there's people or there's still something at my current job I need to do I just I know there's a reason behind it or there's somebody else that is in a worse situation maybe they didn't have a job at all and they really needed that job to take care of themselves and their family so I don't get I mean I just be me and do the best I can and I'm either a perfect fit or I'm not so that is my attitude with it so I am waiting right now for one possibility and if that falls through then I just go start knocking on the next door so that's where we are with that. I am still currently at the job. Things have actually gotten a bit worse because personal life and professional life has crossed over and both are in turmoil. So that is not fun. And personal life, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say 2023 is going to be the year of bravery and change. And sadly, I have like a friend who was... I considered a best friend 
And this happens too in friendships. There's friendships for seasons. And evidently this friendship I thought was a lifetime friendship and it just seemed to be a seasonal one to them because um, I feel like I was used. They used me while they needed a friend, when they needed someone to help them out with things, give them, you know, take care of them for certain situations. And now they've found a replacement and I'm no longer needed. So instead of like just talking about things, we just don't talk to, yeah. It's it's a sad thing when you lose a friend. Um, what did I see something where it's not the goodbye that's hard, it's the remembering all the things before and knowing that they're pretty much over because of a, a friendship that's over. So that's been really hard for me to deal with. Um, just because when I get to be friends with someone, or involved in their life. I don't, I'm just kind of an open book. I don't, um, yeah. I know I trust too easily and it usually burns me, but again, I refuse to be a jaded person. So there's that. And then my immediate personal family, there's still um, some big, big issues with betrayal as well. So maybe betrayal was my word. Maybe that was my word for 2022 or Kathy being an idiot. I, I don't know what it is, but um, I'm not going to start crying now because there's been so many tears and they don't accomplish anything and I just need to figure out what I'm doing with my life, which ties into the whole job thing. So if we could get one of them moving forward, that would be better. So other than that, I am still here. I apologize. I know I am really slow at responding to comments on YouTube even like Instagram messages and stuff I've been slow at. And I have been dealing a lot with um, depression, anxiety, all of that stuff due to the circumstances I am currently facing in my life. So it's, it's those of you that can relate know that some days it's, it's hard. It's hard to be human. It's hard to put your best foot forward and it's hard to interact with people when you just want to crawl under a blanket and hide so thank you for understanding thank you for your patience thank you for your love and support um we're here for each other because we all have these um seasons in our life where things are crap and thankfully we have people like ourselves to lean on because even though we can't fix things for other people, just knowing somebody understands and cares, that's the part that is amazing. And, um, and this is what will make me cry, is thinking about all the people that actually love and support me when those that are in my immediate and have been in my circle longer than you guys um, don't. <laughs> Again, what is it with me? I don't know. But, okay, I told you this is going to be short, and this is short. This is really short for me, but I need to go because I have to go to Walmart and pick up an order and get back before the weather turns. And it's already going to be dark, which I don't like to drive in the dark in the winter, but it'll be what it's going to be. And um, I just wanted to film this quick. So now you know if you want to participate, I'm doing a group buddy color general prompt kind of a thing. And then I will be doing a Disney buddy color um, every month. So again, the New Year's page, sorry, from Winter Chibis is the Spicy Cat Buddies page. And um, Brave, the movie Brave, is the prompt for the Spicy Cat Disney tag. So... There you go, my friends. I do hope that your new year is starting out wonderful. I would be very sad to know that my friends out there, if there are others of you that are starting out the new year like I am, which is shoveling through the poop again, but um, it is, it, it's life. It's what happens. We, it's not all roses, right? Um, and it's okay. Sometimes we're really stuck in the thorns. If you think about it, a rose is beautiful, but there's always way more thorns on it than there are the beautiful flowers. So there's that. That's why we appreciate the beauty when we find it in this world because it is rare and most of our lives and our world are um, trying to avoid the thorns. So when we get caught in the briar patch, just know there's beauty at the end. There will be beauty at the end. So 
Okay, again, it's like almost dark. I don't know if you can really see me. You probably can only see me because of the whiteness of the snow. So I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your support. And mostly, even though I'm going through this crap, I know there's those of you that are also, and those of you that maybe are silent and don't chat or comment, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you're listening to this and you're also in this pile of poo, just know we'll get through this. We will. You will. I will. Well, neighbor, <laughs> neighbor, small town just drove by. I had to wave. And, um, and you matter. And you are valued and you are beautiful. And I am very sorry that you are facing and dealing with whatever situation that you are. And if you are needing to find yourself, be brave. Um, I wish I could fix it for you. I just hope that knowing you're not alone and that people care about you makes a difference because it truly does. This world would be so much, so much worse. You are uh, one of the beautiful roses amid the thorns. You are, and you may not see it right now, but you are. And one day you will wake up and look in the mirror and see that beauty again. So just keep keep on keeping on. We'll get there. We'll get there together and we'll celebrate. So take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I love you guys. Bye.